folks, Henner here. I was born and raised in Oregon, and guess what? I love nature! I love nature so much, I like to eat it. That's right, I'm the Northwest Forager. But I don't have to forage alone, you can join me. Oops, <laughs> felt a raindrop. Better put on my hat. So today, we're looking for the English daisy. It's edible and it has medicinal properties. So what do you say? Let's go for a hike and have an adventure. Oh wow, look what we have here. Oh, how I love to forage. Excuse me, little guy. You know where I can find some forage? Young boy, I don't speak English. He's just a slug. He's not forage, but he is foraging. Did you know... Slugs are related to oysters, clams, and octopi? They are all mollusks. A slug is a special kind of mollusk called a gastropod. The name means stomach foot. Slugs typically live from one to six years, and older slugs are usually female. The biggest slug in the United States can be found right here in Oregon. It's the banana slug, and it can grow to be nearly a foot long. Well, let's continue our search for that English daisy. Don't leave our little slug friend alone. See if he knows anything. Forge, forge, forge. Got to form my forge. Go to get my forge. That will come right for my forge. Here's the forge. Where's my forge? Got to form my forge. Look, forge, forge. I found my forge. Look, 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 forge. I guess not. The search continues. English daisy. Just in time. Because I was getting hungry. <laughs> hey, did you know? The English daisy's real name is Bellus perennis and was introduced to the United States by English settlers. Hence the prefix English. Daisy is short for day's eye. The name originates from Old English, dages, age, because the flower closes at night and opens during daytime. The English daisy is in the Asteraceae family and is related to the sunflower, chicory, chamomile, dandelion, and much more, most of which are either edible or medicinal. The English daisy is entirely edible, though not the tastiest. Medicinally, it was widely known and used to treat bruises during the Middle Ages. Back then, it was called bruisewort. Crusaders made an ointment for their wounds or a decoction for their broken bones. The flower heads were also chewed to alleviate toothaches. Here is a list the English daisy is known to have mild properties of. What do you say we gave it a try? Mmm. It's good. Well, that's all for today's episode. I hope you guys had a good time. You got to make some new friends, learn some new things, and have an adventure. As always, happy foraging. Mm -hmm.